7 o'clock, you will not need an umbrella, but you'll probably need one later today, so maybe just take it with you. Uh, let's look outside. I love this sunrise out there right now. It is so beautiful with some of those clouds still hanging on uh, from those overnight storms. Just a gorgeous shot. If you have any really good pictures, send them in to us because we would love to see them. It's 83 degrees right now. Winds are out of the north at 10 miles an hour, and those showers and storms now moving out. Of course, overnight uh, severe storms move through Tulsa. Uh, it was probably a little noisy. You're waking up now, and you probably uh, maybe have a little bit of a storm hangover there from being woken up in the middle of the night, but things looking better now, so that's good. Uh, some of the rain still hanging on to parts of that southeastern corner there of the state. Otherwise, it's looking good here in Tulsa. So there is a slight risk of potentially seeing some severe weather today. Uh, we're actually going to send it out to our mobile meteorologist, John Haverfield. He's going to talk a little bit more about some of those threats so we could see with these storms. John? Yeah, good morning, Kirsten. That's right. As of right now, the atmosphere is pretty stable thanks to the thunderstorms that moved through earlier this morning, but as we move through the afternoon, we'll see a lot more sunshine and that instability will develop in the atmosphere. We'll likely see another round of some showers and storms. Some of those have the potential to be severe. Let's take a look at some of the threats you could see with any of those thunderstorms later on today. Main threat is going to be lightning. It's going to be a very electrical storm, especially just like uh, last night. Lots of lightning. Again, that's very dangerous for anyone that's outside, especially. Also could see some large hail, possibly up to golf ball size and some damaging winds of 60, 70 miles miles per hour. Also with these thunderstorms, they're very efficient rainmakers, so we could be talking about some heavy rain leading to some flash flooding later on this afternoon. Kirsten, back to you. All right, thanks, John. So let's walk you through the future track. Things are quiet for the morning. We're looking even at a break there in the clouds through about 9 a.m. At lunchtime, you're seeing a couple of showers off to the west, but it looks like our best chance for those showers and storms is to spark back up in the afternoon, maybe a little break then around 7, 8 o'clock, and then as we head about 10 o'clock, we'll start to see showers and storms move back through. Again, this is a stationary boundary. It'll kind of sag across the area and allow for some of those showers and storms to kind of hang on in spots. Uh, as far as the temperatures go, we'll get up to about 91 at noon, and then this afternoon we'll see a high of 95 degrees with that slight chance for those showers and storms then coming in later on today, about 60% rather. And then on the Friday night and the Saturday morning, same story. We're going to look for another round of some showers and storms for us with temperatures in the low 90s both Friday and Saturday. And uh, then we start to clear on out as we make our way into uh, Sunday and Monday. So it looks pretty good for the second half of the weekend. Let's look outside on our storm shield traffic map.